awesome family welcome to the matrix oracle my name is audrey this is your taurus season reading according to your sun or progress sun placement so some of you if you don't know how to look for your progress sun you can always ask me email me i'll be happy to guide you through this this is easy usually if you work with any type of astrology website, you'll see it as an option progress chart and you'll see where your sun is at in its progression. All right, so the way that I like to do things is to start with the element of the zodiac that we are celebrating. So we're going to start with the element of earth and then after earth, we'll have air, fire and water. All right, you can look into the timestamp. I'll see you there for your messages. If you were born with a natal sun or progress sun in the element of earth, so in Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, those messages are for you. Let's start picking our piles, forming our piles, and then I like to use the tarot um, to get some clarification. So for April 19th, 20th to May 20th, 21st, depends on certain calendars. Woo! We already have two cars. We're going to turn them back. <laughs> there, a lot of green. A lot of green for you. Uh, through Taurus season. Not surprising. You like this earth. All right. A dragon energy. Let's see what the crystal balls wanted to share. Okay. Two. All right. We'll do. All right. Let's start with this. They wanted to fly. <laughs> they wanted to fly. Are you trying to fly? Are you trying to find a new pair of wings? So that's interesting because if you're watching this, this is also the collective energy for Taurus season because we're starting with the earth, starting with this element that we're going to celebrate for about a month. So what we have here, oh my God, I love this. I love this. I'm becoming so emotional. <laughs> I love and journey. I'm hearing love the journey, <laughs> enjoy the journey, find love in every place of the journey. Oh my God. I love that I'm receiving this. I had those insights a couple days ago, reviewing my path, my spiritual path and how the way that I aligned the most on this journey was when I was doing something that I call following the eyes of love and that's that's my way of you know like recognizing love and I could see it in people that you know stood out and sh shone this light differently and they had like this message for me so I feel that this is an invitation to look through the eyes of love at your journey enjoying the journey there's something also with this energy of the feminine and masculine that are coming together that I'm loving. Okay, it says here, listen to your heart. Embrace what makes you happy. There are one million reasons to love. Beautiful. And let's see what the journey says. Focus on how far. <laughs> okay, well, I just said all. Focus on how far you have come, not how far you have to go. You will find help in unexpected places. I love this energy. Now, some of you, um, if you don't know, the Taurus zodiac archetype is the divine light holder. It holds the light of creation. With Aries, we're starting the grid. We're starting those projects. We're building the light where we want to go. We're also gatekeeping, knowing what's, the ground, the playground we're going to play with. But with Taurus, we're bringing the light. We're holding that light. And I can't think of a better light than love, you know, focusing on love. Okay, let's see what the dragons wants to share. Oh, this is so beautiful. The wish maker. You know what? Let's read the little booklet because I really like this little booklet. Has little short little words that are so inspiring. So number 24, the wishmaker. Oh, 
When was the last time you let yourself make a wish? With open eyes and a clear view on reality, but also open heart and palms. Are you ready to receive your dream come true? Dragons don't hold back their desires, but we as humans often keep ourselves from wishing and hoping in order to avoid disappointment. Today is a day for wishing without holding back having a conversation with the moon, making a wish upon a falling star. Put a bright, shiny gift of hope under your pillow and dream with the dragons. Wow. I love this. Some of you, I want to mention this. Um, I sometimes like to charge crystals um, or create sigils or, <laughs> or charge crystals with sigils and I put them under my pillow when I fall asleep, so I can get the activation through the crystal matrices or through the sigil, whatever matrix I'm like drawing and projecting. So it works for my subconscious mind. Some of you, if you like this type of idea and working with this, um, you can also work at night with the subconscious mind frequency. If you have any personal practice like this, um, you can expect some coming up on my end. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we have here. Okay, we have two of them. Reconsider and yes. This is so interesting because this is a sign that I think we pulled this card around the times of eclipse okay so there's something here about the eclipse that may have had to be let go of a certain thing that had to be illuminated there might be something that we need to reconsider and i feel like you know what i'm feeling whoa okay okay I love that I, I took the time with this to let the energy work through me. Because what I feel is that some of you, with the eclipse, there might have been some type of shadow, some type of darkness, some type of thing that you did not know of or that you allowed a certain toxicity, a certain habit. And with the eclipse, it got illuminated. And what I'm seeing is that it may have led you to give up on certain dreams, give up on certain wishes. Maybe some of you is love. Maybe it's some of you, I don't know why, but maybe this traveling around the world or exploring the world or things that your heart has been calling you. And then maybe you felt that you had to put aside, maybe there was... Um, some some illusion about you having to stay where you are, uh, maybe dimming your light. And now, in Taurus season, you're really my you know my son and progress son in Earth. You're there's something that is shifting drastically. You know, it's just like it's like you know here it's reconsider, but with the yes, it feels like there was something maybe you had to put aside to maybe close a cycle, understand about certain karmic contracts and close them, dissolve. Now, some of you, if you love working with crystals, I feel Lemuria quartz. You see how here? So some of you, I feel that working with crystals, just the way that I shared my little, <laughs> little uh, ritual, um, which is interesting because I've been practicing this for a while now, um, but especially recently, it's helping you in the Lemuria Quartz, okay? They're saying that all those lines are like codes and data. They're information. So I'm feeling that some of you with this placement, with this type of energy, there's a wish that you may have put aside that you really dearly loved, and that is being reborn. And it's saying, appreciate maybe the detour, the time out you had to take. 
because now the universe is going to bring it back. It's bringing, it's bringing back something really dear to your heart. Some of you with the, the symbol, which is, um, symbolizes the word hail, H-A-I-L, we saw that it came through um, with the eclipse readings. Some of you, if you've seen where you are hailing, that's a very strong confirmation for you. As far as like there was something that was negative and toxic in your life that had to be um, divinely orchestrated with the cosmos to be removed. And now it's going to reopen gateways of opportunities that may, may have been closed. I feel there was some, with the number 24, the number 24 in the angles of the zodiac are the last degrees of cancer. And they're speaking of protection. I feel that you were protected, maybe the environment you were in, my dear earth element, sun or progress sun, the elements that you were in, okay, the cars already wants to come through, um, were not safe for you to activate those codes. And only when you removed this toxicity, this, this, you, you, you were able to realize what it was that you had to change. Then everything was going to, it feels strong. You guys it feels very strong. All right. Let's see those cards because they wanted to, like, I shuffled them before. Um, but yeah, the top pile wanted to be shown right away. Wow. Caterpillar. Four of Pentacles. Scarcity, consciousness, material success, and fear of loss. So different things here with different, some are like positive, some are negative. The Four of Pentacles, especially, I'm going to feel that it's here. Some of you, you had to undergo a very strong um, transformation. So if you're watching this in Taurus season, okay, you're going through this transformation to step out. And I'm hearing very clearly forever, you know, stepping out forever from being scared of loss, being scared uh, as a mindset, as feeling that there's not enough, that you're not enough. There was probably here, okay, a lot that was influencing your feelings of not being enough. Uh, you will know what that is. Yeah, if some of you need extra message about this, go and check out um, the solar eclipse or the lunar eclipse that just passed you might have a you know an additional message if that's something you missed but i love this because it shows that you were born with certain dreams and you were probably had to go through a, a road an experience that didn't allow you or you didn't feel safe to express the magic you held within and now in taurus season there's going to be that shift, that transformation. And this is going to bring you a lot of success. Oh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> the sun, triumph, bliss. Hard work creates good luck. Some of you, and especially with this energy, your road has been, you know, it shows you've worked hard. It shows you worked hard. The universe wants to reward you for your devotion, your dedication to becoming better, to understanding, to learning, um, you know, the laws of this universe, learning about frequency, learning about how you can shift your frequency, how you can shift your mindset, how you can, you know, help yourself heal uh, somatic symptoms, uh, traumas, how you can, you know, how you can through this process also serve others. Some of you, it's, it's, it shows there's a lot of mastery that you've been rehearsing in this lifetime, maybe other lifetimes as well. Last but not least, the two of pentacles with the chimpanzee. 
Balance, go with the flow, and fun. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> because you see here, this is what it shows, you know, in Taurus season, my Earth Sun and Progress Sun. Okay. You're, you have learned how to dedicate yourself, to stay committed. Because you, you almost had no choice. Some of you, I feel like this was the path. And this is why we had those messages about, you know, your journey and maybe following, you know, what you loved and, and really not giving up on what you love. And maybe some of you, you didn't give up, but you had to, you know, focus more on other things because of scarcity mentality, maybe also because of fear of being outcasted or how people, other people would perceive you, see you, judge you, label you. So there's a lot in there that you're coming from, but with the season. So again, April 19th, 20th to May 19th, 20th, 21st, um, depends because the sun, you know, we're shifting every year. Um, you're really going to have much more fun with this process. It's not going to feel just like work, work, work. Okay, some of you, especially if you've done a lot of this energy work, light work, this feels like a, a month where, yes, you're going to still be steadfast with the things that help you and support you. But I feel that here, there is certain wisdom. There's certain things that you don't even realize that you know how to do that were dormant because of what you had to transcend and what you had to learn from this past experience. But the, it's almost like it's going to come ve very much, with much more ease. It's going to flow more. It's going to, because you probably had, just like with the eclipse, had to learn how to surrender. Okay, so some of you, I feel with this, um, I would suggest the subconscious mind at night and also the surrendering. Surrendering is the portal definitely for you. I think that would be um, the greatest to support this type of energy work. Let's see if there's anything else that wants to come forward with the frequencies here. Maybe I missed something. I can read those cards just like read a tarot deck, you know? Okay, so some of you, if you have access, that's going to be for my YouTube members. Um, work with the inner wisdom activation. I love this frequency. It helps you tap, especially into the higher self, into your sacred feminine. Um, especially if you're still struggling, okay, that can help you. Some of you, if you're not yet YouTube members, know that it really supports me to have you part of this. You'll also have access to additional astrology readings. If that's something that interests you, you have the options down below. I am loving this for you, uh, my earth placement, sun or progressed sun for this Taurus season. Enjoy. Uh, some of you, if you are in the northern hemisphere, go and have some fun under the sun. I mean, if you're in the southern, you still have some nice, you know, fall energy that's beautiful. Um, yeah, that's all I have for you. I'm sending you many blessings. Much love and light. Namaste. If you were born with a natal sun or have a progressed sun in an air placement, so sun in Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, those messages are for you. If you want to have a preview of what's going on with Taurus season, the collective message would be the earth element. So we start always with that. So let's shuffle your cards and see what is up for you, my dear air placement. So again, sun or progress sun. I love working with the progression of my chart because it's a way to tap into your evolution, how you evolve with your chart, okay? One card, okay, all right. <laughs> Let's see, okay, drag it. All right, there's a second one. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. Interesting. So I feel right away, um, for the month, for this Taurus season, okay, so April 19th, 20th to May 20th, 21st, my dear air sun or progressed air placement sun. You see, I'm, I'm almost like even changing the order of my words. Um, again, this is not my first language, but <laughs> I usually don't shift that much the words in order. But it, there's something that is about order, divine order, organization. Let's see what that is. Maybe doing things in a different order than expected. I had to do those readings for this season very differently than what I had written. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Maybe there's an influence here with the full moon in Scorpio upcoming. Because this is what, this is something I feel. We'll see. All right, let's start with the center. Sacred space. Take time for the dreamer in you. Find your power and stillness in your sacred space is the peace you seek. With the dragonfly. This might be a sign for you. I want to give it to you as far as Taurus season, whatever messages are here. But I would say here, if you were to see dragonflies in your reality, there's something about making sure that you allow your space yourself to have more space and I'm going to give you an example today I went to the gym thinking I was going to work out you know more like lifting training like something more like dynamic when I started tapping into my body there was a lot that I had to work that was more like dynamic and kind of stretching with strengthening that was more like calisthenics I would say and I felt a strong activation of codes in my spine and I felt that when I was doing the movement in a way that elongated everything and when I did this what came into my mind was like oh my god I needed to create so much space inside of me because of all the things we're always learning we're always like feeling like we're doing um I was like and I, even though I honor the space for resting, I saw that my body needed almost like the stretch for the upgrade, the integration. Okay, that's not going to resonate for everyone, but I feel that creating a sacred space for you might also be around your environment. Just start with looking at your bedroom. Just start looking where, you know, with those places where you rest. Are they aligned with a, a peaceful? Does it create peace around you or does it feel, you know, like too busy? So make sure that you create that in your space. I feel that it is important with this principle because there's some, through this month, remember if you listened to the collective message and if you haven't, I shared about, you know, Taurus, the archetype, in terms of light work, it is the divine light holder. It holds the light, the light of your wishes, the light of what you want to manifest. And it is already embedded in your codes, in your spine. So when you would see a dragonfly, know that you're being activated in your codes Know that it, if you've been feeling uncomfortable and see the dragonfly, that you need to create more space for the, those codes to come through. There's something coming from for you and from you. You know, it's like in, out, in, out. You're working very strongly, I feel, here with the sun. Some of you being activated. Maybe you want to look up sun gazing. Yeah. All right, let's see what we have. The storyteller love this and the confident mm. what beautiful energy I'm, I'm i'm literally feeling like there's there's a story 
there's a prophecy within you that is awakening. Some of you, it could be supported by a community, by a specific person, but ultimately, because of the number 27, it is a placement that speaks of confidence. You trusting your own magic, you trusting the codes that you hold, the being that you are, and your soul's purpose. It's part of the activation. It's part of the story. You came here to tell a story. Let's see if we get some details about the story. What story are you here to tell? Listen to your intuition. A story about wisdom. Oh, I got my whole legs that are all like, like uh, whoo, whoo. <laughs> waves of sparkles, waves. Ooh, ooh. <sighs> to see without eyes, to see from a point of inner beingness, inner centeredness. So in Taurus season, my dear air sun or progressed sun in that placement, you're being activated in deeper ways to have confidence in what you hold within and should hold as sacred. That is the story that you came here to tell. And part of it is the wisdom of your life and the wisdom of how you navigated this life so far. This came through also for um, the collective reading, the earth. I would suggest listening to it, uh, especially I give a lot of information with crystal. This, is, this always reminds me of Lemuria Quartz because those are all... Like all the lines are told, that you're, this is what is being said about that crystal. It's actually data. It's like written information. Some of you, if you can get those, oof, I feel like I want one. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be great. That would be great. Lemuria Quartz. Yes, there's, there, it's like, you know why for you, especially my air element, even though it came through for the earth and for everyone, but especially if you're natal in air or progressing in air, there's some type of like reverb between the two, the, the two worlds, the inner outer. And maybe some of you, that's something that has been supporting you is working your magic in and seeing how it manifests without and this in out in out maybe that can be highly supportive for you through this Taurus season to have that support maybe you also have some Lemuria codes some wisdom from Lemuria for some wisdom about love the collective reading was speaking about uh, you know, looking at this journey with love and seeing love in all and everything and aspects. And that has been coming up for me uh, also through my meditation and for some reason, reviewing my path. So it, it's something that could highly come as a manifestation. I would, I would say, okay, that might be just for someone. I see someone gifting you something. Okay, and it seems to be a value. I'm not talking money value particularly, but of value. Dear, dear to you. Wow. The lion, mind over matter, love wins, majesty, the strength. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at this. You came here to tell the story that love wins. But it does require here to harness the power of the mind. You see it? <laughs> when I realize it's like, do you see it? 
Do you? <laughs> That's that. It's almost like having the wisdom again, the wisdom, the intuition of knowing when to roar and when to just settle, settle down, settle in, settle inward, not settle for something less, but settle yourself. Mm -hmm. The weasel, seven of swords, the devil is in the details, secrecy and mask. Interesting. Now, I feel that some of you, you're working with, some of you maybe, there's something that you have to learn or harness that knowing that everything matters. I, I've always felt this, everything matters, everything has weight, whether it's words, whether it's objects. Uh, maybe some of you, your empathy needs to be worked on as far as understanding, like developing it, uh, working with those principles for your aura. It helps you to start seeing energy. I remember one time, I'm very fond. I actually cleanse my belongings quite regularly. I've It started because I was moving a lot since I was a child, but uh, it stayed in an energetical practice, almost like an hygiene. Um, and I remember one time there was an object I didn't pay attention that was there and I could feel a glow. It was like in those, you know, like um, boxes, but I could hear almost the glow doing and I just found it. And it was something that I had to return. There was, um, I'm going to share it because some of you might have some story that is similar. So there's no point of secrecy here. <laughs> you see secrets. Uh, this, this was my wedding ring um, when I was actually getting divorced. So I still had the wedding ring and some jewelry um, from his family. So I had to return it, but I had forgotten it was there or that it had some matter. I was just not wearing it anymore. So there could be certain things like this, because this is also about decluttering space. When I, you know, return the jewelry, so especially jewelry means crystals. It was kind of attaching me or attaching to a certain story. So some of you, you had to hear this because maybe there are attachment in your life about certain objects that might have been like why I mentioned the gift something that was dear to you but that could be something you're receiving of you received so use your own discretion on this this is going to be you know for a lot of people so oh wow the same card that we had chimpanzee two of pentacles balance go with the flow and fun I love this. I, the more you're going to be practicing, okay, because remember Taurus season, we want to hold the light. And here for you, my air, sun, or progress sun, it's about holding the light of what makes you feel honored, what makes you feel sacred, what has value to you. The, the more you cherish and nourish this, the more you'll have fun between the things that you have to do and the things that you want to do, okay? Because... There was this, this theme, uh, you know, as far as the collective, that w there's been a lot that we've learned all collectively, especially the ones watching this reading. And as you've been working on yourself, there's this natural, almost like mastery of it. And for you, it is especially centered around honoring, protecting, uh, decluttering what feels off alignment because when there is a small it could be a small detail but it could throw off your field it could throw off you accessing some of those codes okay hmm i feel i want some clarity about this oh <laughs> 21 okay that's gonna be that's going to be your code, okay? When you see 12s, 
1221 is even stronger because it's a mirror. So maybe if you see even numbers that mirror each other, I don't know why I saw 7887. Oh, well, I saw a 7 here and I saw an 8 here. <laughs> okay, maybe that's why. Um, very interesting. Maybe some of you, you're born in 87 or 78, but I'm just saying like things like that. Just, and uh, you know what? Reflect. So pay attention to the reflection of this, of this uh, season. A lot of you are going to transcend a lot of their limitation through honoring the small details that matter to them, to you. Okay, let's see in terms of frequency what we can do here. We had especially the subconscious mind that came up and surrendering is the portal uh, for the collective. I want to give that as an insight. Okay, we have here healing the spiritual warrior. This is part of the super empath. I don't know where's my pen. I have to redo those cards, you guys. Mm -hmm. So super empath. Ooh, not this one. You will have access to all the playlists um, in the description box of this video. Okay? Healing the spiritual warrior. Some of you maybe, and this is super empath is about building up your boundaries, making sure that as an empath, you're not being swayed too much in your energy, your decisions. Mm -hmm. So that's what I have for you, my dear air element for this Taurus season. I'm so excited for you. I'm sending you many blessings and much love and light. Namaste. If you were born with a natal sun or progress sun in a fire placement so aries leo or sagittarius those messages are for you let's see what we have i do recommend watching the earth element because this is for tour season such a beautiful message about enjoying and loving our journey and bringing more love to it um yes beautiful energy for Taurus season. Taurus is a zodiac archetype that holds the light of our creation. So it's quite an important, uh, you know, step. Obviously, step number one was with Aries. Step two <laughs> with Taurus. That's how we ascend. That's how we create and learn how to be powerful, mindful co-creators and just creators. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have for you. My fire placements, sun or progress sun. Okay, all right. And, hmm, interesting. Okay, all right. Just different, it's been happening. Different type of order, but also here for you, I feel shift. There's a shift happening for you. You see how here the globes are different sides? Um, there's something that you're shifting for Taurus season. Let's see what that is. Hmm. You have this card that came up for the collective reading. And that was something that also came through the eclipse season reading. The symbol also symbolizes hail, H-A-I-L, uh, which there could have been something that was dark, that was not allowing you to shine your light or to feel free in your creation, that is shifting. Hmm, love this. Yes, you're going in the right direction. Okay, so some of you, it seems like a starting Taurus season might have been a lot. Okay, a lot of a lot of things to review, a lot of things to uh, illuminate, to understand, even just dealing with. I'm hearing could have been a very busy past weeks. Eclipse season, you know, uh, was some energy portal with a lot of opportunity to shift timelines to really also 
I would say like shift totally the outcome of um, what can be because of our shift in perception. Remember, your perception sets a certain frequency. I feel that working with frequency is important for you. My fire replacements, sun or progress sun in the fire element. It's helping you going into the right direction. I feel I want to look right away at a frequency card. What does it have to say? Huh. Okay. Ooh, psychic healing of energy imbalances. Your true abundant nature. Maybe learning breath work, working with this type of frequency. This, this album, I'm not chanting mantra. I have a video tutorial about a certain order of step of breath technique to help you achieve psychic surgery on yourself and also repatching, expanding and everything. You know, it's like a whole, it's like a whole process. But here, this, especially in the psychic healing, this is the part where you're doing surgery and that's when you expel all your breath, uh, you stick out your tongue. Um, there might have been a lot that you had to learn regarding aura, regarding the light within, how not to let others dim your light or not let yourself dim your light for others. Interesting. So it could be something you want to even fall asleep to or just learn about breath work in my video tutorial. You'll have access to the playlist um, in the description of this video. Okay, very different pattern. Huh. See, very... Some of you, there's a different way of thinking that is trying to emerge through Taurus season. Let's see. Union. You have seen and unseen allies. Draw upon their strength. Join forces with friends and flourish. Interesting. You know what I find very interesting also is that currently the, the zodiac, um, the angles of the zodiac where Pluto is, is very, very much about friendship, alliances, affinities. So I think that some of you, maybe you were attracted in the past to energies that were more toxic, more drama, gossipy, but there's a shift. It feels like a spiritual awakening, really. It feels like in Taurus season, there's almost like some of you, I'm, I'm feeling, and I'm even seeing like people talking about you, maybe in your back or just not, you know, like, just say like, see how he, she changed? It's, they don't, it's not ill intended. I don't feel this, but it's almost like there's a contrast between who you were before the season and who you're becoming in Taurus season that is going to be noticed by your entourage. It's going to be really seen and whether appreciated or not eh, is another story. Okay. All right. So let's see what else. Oh. The receiver. I so love this. Union, receiver, you're in the di right direction. I feel that what they're going to notice, okay, what others are going to notice, because it seems like because of this card union and allies, and, you know, obviously allies means also some people are not allies. Um, but you're in a place where People are going to notice your energy and your glow is going to be different because you started allowing yourself to receive. That's what's changing. You're surrendering more. You're allowing more. Maybe some of you, if you want, uh, it came up in the collective reading, work with the surrendering is the portal energy. It's, it's been so good for this type of uh Achievement of frequency. Okay? 
Yeah, frequency seems very important. And that's why maybe also I felt it from the beginning because that's something you're shifting and it's going to be noticed. And it's going to show that you're much more in union also with yourself. And I'm feeling also with the universe. Things are going to, you're going to start looking more and more. Maybe some of you, it already looked like this to others, but for yourself as well, that things come to you easily. Maybe before you had to work to believe this, which obviously holds a contrasted opposite belief in that. But now it's, it's something that you're almost like inviting because you've gone through a very deep shift. Let's see if the cards here, the tarot cards, want to talk about this shift. Like what shifted? Like what or what has been shifting? Some of you, it could be through Taurus season that this shift is happening. So know that the universe seems to want to be a pouring abundance. By the way, I do believe. Did I mention to you, I think, yes, um, that full moon energy in Scorpio. Some of you, I, I was called to do this full moon energy in Scorpio before. Um, I feel there's a message in particular there for you because it's about prosperity. And there's something there for you that is going to unlock in deeper ways the frequency of prosperity. Okay. All right. Now I feel better. <laughs> Wow, look at this. Dragonfly. They've been coming up even for the air element. Eight of Wands. Optimism, speed, standing still. Still. <laughs> I'm sorry, my accent sometimes. <laughs> so, you're going to manifest like crazy here. There's like, there's a vibrational, I think... Your communication has shifted. The way you talk about yourself, the way you talk about uh, your life, the way you talk about your opportunities, your possibilities has shifted so deeply that now it's just, um, it's just allowing this abundance to come through in ways that Maybe at first it's going to just be in your glow. Pay attention. It feels like a glow up. <laughs> I call this a glow up. Okay. When I said this, some of you, if you've been meaning, I, I don't know for who that is. There's someone or there's some, it, it, it could be a few. Um, if you've been meaning to blow up in terms of social media, when I said glow up, I saw social media and I, 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 I saw viral. Um, so maybe some of you, there's something about your business expanding because you're going to shine a light that's very different in Taurus season. Okay, the sloth here with the four of sword, quiet reflection, waiting till the time is right. And I think, you know, with this energy with union is because you're going to know how to honor the time of rest and the time of activity. I feel that some of you, even like if there is a social media or something you're trying to expand, like, uh, you know, um, it could be just your business, uh, an, um, a promotion. It's because you're balancing your life in greater ways where you know that your inner work or your inner stillness has so much value and so much potential that you, you've been able to almost like master the art of timing with when to speak, when to do, when not to, and feeling good about it. Yeah. All right. Last but not least. Oh, whoa. <laughs> the hawk. What an energy. The Ace of Swords. I never pulled that card before in this deck. What a vision. Oh, it says vision. Conquest, clear vision, discernment. <laughs> okay, some of you, maybe you already have certain dreams and vision about what you want to manifest. And if that's the case, Taurus season is really saying that the more you nurture the teachings that you got through the Eclipse season and portal 
the more you learn how to master your communication with spirit, allow yourself to receive, allow the timing of things and the time for rest and the time for, you know, activity and fun and work, um, your vision is going to come into fruition, whatever that vision is. I'm not going to pry on this because I feel as some of you, it's very personal. It's almost like you may have not even dared to talk about it or express it to anyone. It's so funny, but I saw some of you uh, sending me an email about what that is. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, or some messages about this. Like, <laughs> Okay, I I'm welcoming it. You know, if that's something you want to put out there in the universe and... Um, and share with someone that is already foreseeing this for you, I would be honored. Okay, well, you know, in terms of frequency, you have this breath work. That does make sense with, you know, working on your breath, working on your inner space. And in that inner space, having that union that allows the space to receive. It's beautiful. It feels very organic. Some of you could be that you're taking greater ways to eat or just treat yourself. That is more organic. Uh, I feel that even the word organic, um, there's going to be, if that was about social media or business, there's going to be a more organic way to build, um, you know, alliances, build friendships, build contracts. That's going to be beautiful uh, through tour season for you, my dear fire sun or you know progress sun placement i'm sending you many blessings and much love and light Namaste. if you were born with a natal water sun or you are progressing in a sun placement that is of the water so that means a sun in cancer scorpio or pisces those messages are for you for taurus season so april 19th 20th to may 19th 20th or 21st uh, let's see what we have. Ooh, you too. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So I'm, I'm not going to spoil the <laughs> Spoil alert. Okay. Spoil alert. Hmm. Are you coming up with something new or innovative? There's something here in Taurus season. Something that's coming for you that seems to be I'm hearing innovative okay let's 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 further <laughs> pull cars and then deep dive in this all right some type of surprise okay you get more cards so far more cards more cards up your sleeve I feel there's, in Taurus season, if you were born with a sun in a water placement or just progressing into this type of uh, placement, there's, you've been practicing a certain art or you've been, some of you could be even at your job, you've been rehearsing certain habits. So it could be just your light work, you know, just ritually uh, introspecting about yourself, your triggers, uh, the cosmic energies or whatever. Um, there's something that allows you to have more tools, especially tools of awareness um, that you did not have in the past. There's definitely a growth that I'm feeling from this, that I'm loving. We're going to shift this around. <laughs> it's been happening. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. I feel I want to start with the crystal balls. Let's. Wow. This is a sign. Some of you stick around for this reading because if you've been asking for something, if you've been waiting for something, in Taurus season, you're going to receive your sign, okay? This message, those messages are a sign. 
about what we'll see and choose a new direction. There's a shift. I, I told you, there's like a, a different order. There's something that you're coming out with that happened. And I feel it for a lot of people after this post-eclipse season that we went and undergone through. Um, there's a lot of... There's almost like a different type of vortex of opportunity that is opening. And something that was always meant for you. Uh, some of you might be because you're aligning with your North Node, your purpose. It would be interesting to know where your North Node, South Node are in your chart. Because you're definitely aligning with something that is meaningful in your life that always has been meaningful and this season helps you align with a new direction maybe you were caught in a certain timeline a certain karmic cycle that i feel that has been uplifted yeah especially with you know, up your sleep. It's just like a lot of things that I naturally and intuitively said for you, my water placement here, um, that feels that you've grown. There's a spiritual growth. There's different keys, different vibration, different things you've learned, different tools. Okay, let's see. So now that's the card that we had for the collective reading. And I strongly suggest watching the earth element to have an idea of the season. Focus on how far you have come, not how far you have to go. You will find help in unexpected places. All right. Expectation. Be open for whatever comes next. It might just be the music your heart's been waiting to hear. Yes. Okay. So some of you, you, there was a journey you've been, again, I, I felt this, like you've gone through whatever you had to go through and there's a shift in Taurus season. You're going to get a lot of confirmation, a lot of signs from the universe, whether it's synchronicities from numbers, that something that you've been longing to manifest is coming into fruition. All right. Some of you, uh, my, my phone is ringing. I usually always have everything on silent. So the fact that it's just not, um, and you are hearing the buzz, hearing the buzz, there might be some type of good news coming to you through the phone, through a text, through an email. There's like, there's again, if this is a sign, you're going to get a lot of confirmation Okay, uh, water sun or progress sun. <laughs> oh, I love him. This little guy. It's the first time I pulled this one. <laughs> the relaxer. Okay, I'm going to want to read the relaxer. <laughs> Let's read it. Number 42. Very interesting in the angles of the zodiac. Does speak of, um, you know, ambition, politics. Uh, but really, I call it divine order. You know, and I feel that some of you, like in the Taurus season, it's saying like, relax, like relax into it. Like you're going to start getting more and more synchronicities about, you know, how to go about this project, this new thing that you're growing into because you're growing into it. You're growing into a new version of yourself with a different direction than maybe you had in the past. I feel as some of you, maybe in the past, it felt more lonely. I just had to say it because I felt it. Um, but here it feels like there's more togetherness, I'm hearing the word. Like the steam curls above a cup of tea and a dragon curls up after their flight, so do you deserve to unwind and let go. Ease is the name of this moment. Whatever it takes for you to experience a sense of relief right now, 
That's the direction to go. You've already applied your effort. Your intentions are clear. If it's not working or if you're tired, overwhelmed, or stressed, do not rebound your efforts to make anything happen. Simply curl up and relax. It's a good time to let go. So, <laughs> I mean, it's almost like in tour season, the universe wants you to trust that it's taking care of all the details. Just sit back, put your feet up, and let the signs come to you and just show you how um, to build your business, how to manifest. Some of you, I felt maybe there was love in the air, how to go about, you, you know, anything that is dear to your heart. It feels very soulful. It feels very supported, supportive. Okay. And we have the compassionate. Oh, so much love. So much love. Some of you, whew, I'm sorry. I just like almost like had like dizziness. Like I, my, my whole being just went sore. Some of you, okay. Cause we talked about love. So I have to mention it. I feel that someone is going to be swept off their feet. Okay, it could be more than one person, um, but some of you, it's also about something that almost like makes you feel so enamored with life, with everything, because it's something that you've been wanting to manifest, you know, with those expectations, possibilities, the unexpected, you know, it's just like a surprise, I told you, it's just like it... It's almost like you, it's, it could make you feel like dizzy with the amount of like uh, synchronicities. And so let yourself enjoy almost like the thrill. I feel very much like there's a thrill energy here. Okay. Whew. Oh, that was an interest. I've never felt this before. <laughs> Some of you, again, it goes back. I'm, it, I really feel like it goes to, back to love. Some of you, it's like, I've never felt like this before, okay? Some of you, maybe someone is falling in love with you, okay? I want to mention it because sometimes that's what happens. <laughs> All right. Okay. We have the Roadrunner, Knight of Swords, Courage in Action, Best of Intentions. I love this because it feels that, you know, you're just being called through Taurus season to align with the energy of who you've become. That's part of, you know, the journey and hold the light because of Taurus, you know, that archetype that holds the light of creation through just knowing when to act. And it's almost like some of you, it's almost you. I think you've learned how to achieve a lot in a small amount of time. Your level of mastery about maybe your work, your craft, your hobbies, or how to stay organized with your life so you can have set time for self-care. It feels like you have created this. And through tour season, you're going to enjoy more of it. I feel admiration when I look at this little road runner. <laughs> so maybe some of you are going to compliment you. Again, that could be someone that <laughs> is falling in love. Uh, or just, you know, the way you're getting feedback. Because this energy, when you're in relaxed mode, is very self-loving. It can be very self-nurturing. It could just emanate so much love, especially if you're holding such compassion inside of yourself. So it's almost like people can, like I have like that, that energy that you're emanating, it's almost like calling them with the same energy, like, wow, how lovely is this person? You feel very lovely. Well, judgment, rising up, clarity, awakening, and mercy. I feel as some of you, with all of this, with this choose a new direction, we saw that there was probably phases that were not as smooth as this one, okay? Seasons. 
And I think there was a lot that you had to transcend through the power of your heart, but also the power of your discernment and what you've learned through this journey. You might have gone for a certain path and had to make this change in, in your decision making. You know, maybe in the way also you're looking at things or the way you perceive life, others. And now there's just, it feels like, you know what I, I listen to? Some of you might be something you want to check out, uh, the Gene Keys. I was listening to the Gene Keys yesterday uh, of the period of time from April 15th to the 21st, okay? And while listening to this, I felt like um, such an alignment with what it was saying. It was most like human nature was almost like feeling separate from the flow of life instead of realizing that they were part of life. They were serving life. They were serving evolution and that separateness. So I feel like this is also reminding me why I felt aloneness. And how whales they actually like you know are you know part of like groups and sometimes they can be lonely but you know they help each other and they can locate each other. Um, it feels like there's soul family coming to you. There's you becoming part of of the all. There's a lot of wholeness wholesomeness that I feel for you, my water son or progress son. It's really lovely. Again, it's almost like, like the, <laughs> it's really lovely to look, to witness, to be in the presence of. So good job on this. Really good job. Uh, let's see if there's another card. I want to come through and then we're going to look at certain frequencies. Okay. Oh, wow. You got the caterpillar. So the four of pentacles, scarcity, consciousness, material success, and fear of loss. You see, some of you, it's just like you're, it's, it's confirming that was a card in the collective reading. So definitely go and check it out because I was talking more about the phase before the transformation, but it's, it's a reiterating like that, like you're stepping in a phase with Taurus season where you're relaxing into the flow of life. You're loving your life. You're loving yourself. You're savoring it like a cup of tea. And when you do this, everything melts away. The scarcity, you're shifting. There's a new direction that is opening up for you. Clarity and material success. I mean... You know, maybe it was locked, especially. It was locked before we saw it in the collective reading because you were in an environment that needed to be protected before it was unlocked. So you had to step away from that. Okay, let's see in terms of frequencies. What do we have here? Woo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oof, of course. Unity consciousness. It's been a while I didn't pull this one. The unity consciousness. Let me see if I put it in a playlist. I don't remember. Let me see, you guys. Playlist. Unity consciousness. Let me tell you. Oh, I don't have it in a playlist. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to put it in your auric health and wealth. Because those are frequencies for shadow work, light work, and this is a higher self-embodiment and transcending the ego. So your health and wealth, this is where you're going to find it. And for the ones that are members, you can work with some of your star placement. Let's see if we can get for you my water sun or progress sun a specific planet okay so you have access in awakening the stars within you have access to the sun and moon so some of you if you want to work with the sun or the moon let's see if we have a specific planet that wants to come forward for this okay let's see 
Venus. Work with Venus if you have access to the YouTube membership. By the way, thank you so much. If you are a member, it supports me so much to have additional time, but also know uh, that this is my work of heart. You know, I really love supporting others with something as simple and yet so complex as sound, so frequency, okay? Uh, thank you so much for being here. That's what I have for your Taurus season. I'm sending you many blessings and much love and light. Namaste.